The Lord is my rock, the rejected building stone, part three of four. The story of the Lord Jesus on earth is an interesting one. It is a story of unusual love. He was born on earth to die. He descended from heaven to give his life as a ransom for humanity. When the devil sinned, the Lord Jesus did not redeem him. But when man sinned, Jesus came down from his rich glory and became poor on earth. He said, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Matthew chapter 8, verse 20. He came to us from the peak of glory to suffer on earth. And when he was born, he did not have with his mother a place in a house. So Mary gave birth to her firstborn son, swaddled him, and laid him in a manger. This was a place built up of mud that had the hay and forages that the cattle eat. This was the only place that welcomed the birth of the Savior. Not only that, but when Jesus was two, King Herod sought the death of the boy and so commanded the killing of all boys two years and under who were in Bethlehem and all its districts, according to the time which he had determined from the wise men. Thus an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word. So Joseph listened to the voice of the angel. As Jesus grew up, he was obedient to his parents. He also went around doing good and healing all those whom the devil enslaved. He healed every sickness, every weakness among the people. So they brought to him all those who were sick with various diseases and ailments, and all those who were demon-possessed, epileptics and paralytics, and he healed them. Matthew chapter 4, verses 23 and 24. Despite all this, some Pharisees said to him, Get out and depart from here, for Herod wants to kill you. Luke chapter 13, verse 31. But Jesus said to them, How often I wanted to gather your children together, as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were not willing. Luke chapter 13, verse 34. All the chief priests and elders of the people plotted against Jesus to put him to death. Matthew chapter 27, verse 1. They bound him, whipped him, gave his body over to be crucified, and twisted a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and struck him on his head with a reed. They also made fun of him and took the robe off him, put his own clothes on him, and led him away to be crucified. Matthew chapter 27, verses 29 through 31. Jesus carried his own cross to be crucified on. What a wonder it was for the Lord of glory to be crucified between two thieves who reviled him. The people pierced his hands and feet and gave him vinegar mixed with gall to drink. They pierced his side with a spear, so water and blood gushed out of his side. In addition to all this human torment and reviling, God hid his face from him. So Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Matthew chapter 27, verse 46. Jesus hung on the cross between heaven and earth and was rejected by heaven and earth. But he said, And I, if I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all peoples to myself. John chapter 12, verse 32. What an amazing love story. Since his birth, Jesus had no place of his own. And when he grew up, he was persecuted much by people. They said that he was possessed by demons. And some wanted to stone him. One time, when he drove out the demons from the two demon-possessed men coming out of the tombs, the whole city came out to meet Jesus, but when they saw him, they begged him to depart from their region. Matthew chapter 8, verses 28 to 34. 
Judas Iscariot betrayed him while he was one of his disciples, selling him for 30 pieces of silver. And he handed him over by a kiss to be crucified. This is an amazing love story and a divine plan designed for eternity. It was not a human plan for the Christ to die, to give life to those who believe in him. Yet whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. Romans chapter 10, verse 11. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John chapter 1, verse 29. If you will not believe, surely you shall not be established. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 9. Dear reader, you have to take refuge in the rock, as Moses did when he asked God to show him his glory. And because man cannot see God and live, the Lord told Moses, Here is a place by me, and you shall stand on the rock. So it shall be, while my glory passes by, that I will put you in the cleft of the rock, and will cover you with my hand while I pass by. Then I will take away my hand, and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. Exodus chapter 33, verses 18 through 23. Do you want to take refuge in the rock that is Christ? Can you sing with David the prophet and say, I love you, O Lord, my rock? May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. To you, Lord, I call, my rock, do not be deaf to me. You brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the mud, and he set my feet on a rock making my footsteps firm. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I will not be greatly shaken. My salvation and my glory rest on God. The rock of my strength, my refuge is in God. We read in Psalm 62, verses 6 and 7. The Lord said, Behold, I am laying in Zion a choice stone, a precious cornerstone, and the one who believes in him will not be put to shame. This precious value then is for you who believe, but for unbelievers, a stone which the builders rejected, this became the chief cornerstone. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 7. See also Matthew chapter 21, verse 42, Mark chapter 12, verse 10, Psalm 118, verse 22. This was from the Lord, and it was wonderful in our eyes. The Christ who was rejected on earth, who had no place on earth, calls you now and says that you can have a place in heaven despite all your sins and evils. So do you want to reject him? Or do you want to build your house on the rock to be saved, you and your household, and to become with your household living stones in the house of God? As many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. John chapter 1 verse 12. Those who reject him will one day stand before the great white throne to be judged, when all those whose names are not found in the book of life will be cast in the lake of fire. Revelation chapter 20 verse 15. Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, the one who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come into judgment, but has passed out of death into life. John chapter 5, verse 24.